Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 9 of our Let's Play series on Adeptus Mechanicus with the Heretic DLC. Yesterday we got stuck into a good mission, kicked some butt, so we'll try and do the same again today. We got some black stones, so let's go get some upgrades on our cohort. So, let's check out what ranks we're on. So we've got 7 on this guy, 7 and 6. So let's give Magnarius, or Manarius, a little upgrade. So, I'm going to get this guy to be our melee warrior. So we're going to go down this tree with him, which will end up with this little perk. But if we actually take ranged weapons off, he's going to get extra damage, movement, armor and crit chance. So that's what we'll end up doing with this guy. So let's get him a new piece of armor. What have we already got actually? We've got trousers and the chest piece. So we've got two HP, one physical armor, one physical damage to the arc gauntlets. Let's just do the hood for now. I got on there. And I'm pretty sure one of our guys. Now we're all on seven now. Okay, so 527 left. He's got two guns. He's only got one gun. Let's give him another upgrade. Leonardus. Okay, so. What route are we going to go down for you? Is he going to be our healer? Oh, yeah. Frank the field generator. Okay. Let's just check the other guy, Jeremiah. What was I doing with him? I've also got him going down that one. And that one. So... I think we'll definitely have Leonardus here as our healer. That's Healy, Healy Master Refracting. I want to go down here first to actually get the healing abilities on. Again, we've got chest piece and trousers. So, helmet to give us. Well, it's not even a helmet, is it? One physical armor, two HP. Let's get the extra HP from the gauntlets. Make this guy a bit tougher. So, he goes on 18 now. I just want to make this guy nice and tough so we can withstand a bit of punishment and get lots of healing out. We've got 309 left, so we can get one more upgrade of someone. So he's on 877. Seven. So which one should we do? He's got two guns, he's got two guns. We've got three bits of armor. He's only got two. So let's give Jeremiah one more. Hey, what's the plan for this guy? I saw scanners, filling cog gauge. Is that the ranged one? Yeah, I think we're gonna go down this route for this guy. Make him a shooter. Crap, what have we got again? Yeah, chest and trousers again. So, what have we got? 2 HP, 1 energy. One energy damage, one energy along that. Let's keep on the um getting our HP up. Cool. So ready to go there, let's see what missions we got. So Scabiolas have got us doing some treasure hunt for a gamma pistol. A Ranger Alpha with 106 black stone. Okay, so Videx has got us placing some incense burners to purify the tomb. For him, we're going to get an arc rifle, a uh, cognition gauge increase, which is brilliant. We really want to get this one done. I think this will probably be the mission we do. Kept okay, got the same one for Caratio. That's a flamer, that's a boss, that's a heretic. So I think we're going to go up. We're going to do this one. Try and increase our cog gauge again. I think we'll go for the same little setup for now. We really want to try and unlock some of these slots. Get some more deployment slots going. That would really be good help. Good 
Get some incense sticks down. Got one diamond, two diamonds, and a red enemy encounter. God, it looks like we're gonna have to go straight in for that one. Possibly. So otherwise it's a very long route round. It's one, two, three, four. So we go one, two. Five. I don't really want to do that encounter first because you get awakening reduction from it. So it won't do us any benefit to get into that combat first. So I think we're just going to have to take the long route round. We're going to have to probably do that one halfway through. Because you want to make the most of every perk you can get. Alright, bit of any mini money mate. Hey, hey free CP. This chamber is littered with human bones. They show signs of having been dismembered with sharp blades. They represent around a dozen bodies. Dignify, gather the bones for proper internment outside the tomb. Detect, examine the bones in case they can tell us more about the threats in the tomb of Abjow. Disregard, ignore them and move on. No, we don't want to ignore. We want to try and learn something from their deaths, bless them. Dignify, pay some respects, but it won't help us, so let's detect. The bones were indeed dismembered with extremely sharp blades, but they were butchered with little skill rather than dissected. The dismemberment took place post-mortem. They were probably settlers of St. Eckhart's Hope, who strayed into the tomb or were captured and brought here. This information sets the cohort on edge. They scan their surroundings for whatever did this. Oh, the initiative decreased. Okay, cool. So, it's not a total loss there. Let's see if we can get something nice out of this glyph. That one last time, I think. Let's try this one. So, HP that we didn't need, but let's get into this first bit of combat. Ooh. We're getting in there straight out, straight off the bat. behind cover for the warrior to shoot. Keep Minaris there, I think. Yes, yeah, so at least you can shoot that guy before getting stuck in there. I don't think we're going to get any troop units in just yet. I'm sort of guessing that we might have a platform that's going to buzz up on us somewhere here. We'll have to see. shoot him or wait for the opportunity attack. Um, I would put the bubble down but I want to be moving these guys out really. Can he get a shot from there? Maybe he can from there. 
I'm going to save the shot actually. So he's only got three health, and I think the axes are doing three to five damage on a hit. So when he moves, the opportunity attack should knock him out. Sneaking one of them on him as well. He's on five. So I do six to eight. Yeah, there we go. Get the reducer on it. Make it cost a bit less. Is that flowed one dead? Nice. Let's, let's get him in there, tuck behind a little bit of cover. I should get that last CP, which is nice. Pretty sure I might be able to hit all of these with this attack. So this one here says turns into a cone area after you hit an enemy with it. In fact, before we use that, let's just have a quick check. Yeah, it is going to go. See so again, get a reducer on, make it nice and cheap. Spread that love out. Flayed one and death mark left. At the moment. Stabby stick is free to use, so let's use the stabby stick to clear that dead flayed one. Move him up a bit. Business, no, you bugger. Don't really want to waste that on just that one guy. Just leave him be. He's only doing little bits of damage. Sent burners down. Though this junction of passageways is one of places selected for the incense burner, an unexpectedly strong air current is blowing through the intersection. It will disperse the incense before it has a chance to perform its purpose of sacred odor vanishing. Oh dear. Right, reconnoiter. I think. Reconnoiter. Yeah, search for the source of the air current. That one. Reformulate. Use tech lore to alter the chemical makeup of the incense and intensify its effect. 
redeploy. I think this one's not going to work. It'll just still blow away eventually, won't it? Search for the source. Search for the source. I think that's a smart move. Look at all the blackstone. Yeah. The cohort locates a crack in the ceiling where the surrounding landscape is shifted and allowed air from outside to flow in. They seal up the crack and are able to deploy the incense burner in its designated location. Hey, mission successful. Brilliant. Right, well, we've got no choice really but to bass through these guys now. Got to get down here. There's no other way to do it. But at least we've built up a little bit of awakening level now. So that when we complete this room, we're actually making use of the benefits. We've got a few of them here, haven't we? Let's go back, go down, go down that way to take them on. Just push these guys forward just a little smidge. And in fact, let's get a troop unit in on this. Since we've got a few to be taken out here. He still has line of sight through that bit. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it looks like he does. Let's just back this guy off so we can get line of sight on this one here, this warrior. I'm glad I'm I snuck this guy in between those two now. So really made the difference there. He's not in that line of sight. Oh look, he can use that as cover. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's just try and go straight in there for a bit of a kill shot. And this guy, the big gun. Maybe not kill shot, but it should batter him down a bit. Gonna get shot no matter where he moves. Mm. I think I'm just gonna keep him put. He's probably gonna get shot at from at least one of these two, but I don't wanna risk him getting knocked down too much more. Oh, could he serve a skull? Come on. It's good that he took the hit off that warriors. He's got more shielding. Mm, no, yeah, yeah. Gonna bodyguard this guy, I think. Let him take the hit from the death mark. 
and then hopefully he's going to reposition into a better area. stick for one extra damage hopefully. Now we can shoot him. And let's move back into our melee range. Get that opportunity attack. Cool. He's in a good position now. That's okay. We just took out that servitor. Is he gonna move? I so I can shoot him from here. Cool, this guy's taking all the heat at the moment, which is brilliant. Okay, a bit of counter sniping. Oh, I thought I might have finished him off. It's a tank so far, but we don't want to take the mech and be complacent. I was going to say, surely can survive another round. Brilliant. I'm quite surprised I didn't kill him. I thought Flayed on a shoulder drop. I could use my reducer, use this shot, but it does the cone area attack and that's gonna you see. That'll actually damage my guy there. No damage is coming up above him. Ah, oh, maybe it doesn't. Some some weapons do. Some of these weapons deal like a, a cone area attack or, or some kind of area effect. They normally damage your troops if they're in range, but that didn't. Blooming awesome. Um, I'm just going to keep them there, I think. No, should we put them back? Yeah, it's a bit behind cover at least. Maybe not. He would have got hit if he was there anyway. Whoa. That one's going for the for, for a weak spot. Cheeky. I'm gonna be ballsy and not bring in any more fodder. Got one more glowy door here, it's freaking me out a bit. Let's see what we're dealing with with this guy. Energy. What we like, we've got three CP. We can nab one from there. I think I'm gonna. Can I. Can you even. Can't. Why can't you walk up there? So you gotta go all the way round? God, bugger that. Let's put the bubble up. Oh, he looks like he's just out of it. Um, heal. Heal, heal. Oh, 
That was two, wasn't it? And try and get some damage on this guy. He needs to take him down. There we go. Eight. Bloody awesome. Uh, this one was taken down first. Let's shoot him so he doesn't reanimate. Do get that one CP. Stats on this guy, no. Really, there is a scan tower over there as well. I think we really need it as such, but. Nah. Let's wait for a minute. further into the bubble just to make sure he's definitely in it. Oh, I've got one, I could get him in there. Let's get him in there. If anything we can get a bit of extra blackstone. Even if we don't actually get the terminal destroyed. Should have maybe healed him. Oops. Get that one gone and out the way. So, yeah, let's get the producer job on. I think we can give him a little stab as well. That one could make the difference. Right, I was going to keep him over for a sec. Blast him to hell. Do not to one. No, I'm just gonna have to get him in there, chop him up. Hold on, hold on. We've got some CP, so let's just heal him up first a little bit. I could actually keep him there, can I? He's only got one health, so he's gonna get done by the opportunity anyway. So let's see if we can, yeah, just get to this guy first. Give him a little bit more healing. Oh, we've got four. That's more like it. Um, oh, now we can do this. We can do this. It's going to knock us down into two. Nice. And when we complete this mission, we should get another little bit more. Opportunity, there we go. That was really good. So I think we normally get minus three on the awakening. So let's see what it gives us. Because black minus four, wow. So that's knocked us all the way back into one. That's made a big difference. Got a bit of bonus blackstone as well, so that's pretty cool. Alright, just gotta make our way down to this diamond and we're good. The chamber ahead is dominated by a hideous trophy of body parts, festooned with sheets of tattered skin and constructed from blood stained bones. Adherence to the cult mechanicus and basic human decency demands it be destroyed. Or oh, do we get to burn it? Do we get to burn it? 
Separate, take it apart by hand. Let us pay respect to those that have passed. Annihilate, blow it up. We have plenty of grenades that could do the job. I think that's a little OTT. There we go, immolate, burn it. I'm sure nothing remains. Yes, purge with fire, purge with fire. Yes, meet this blasphemy with flame. Ha ha ha. Topped up our CPs, lovely. A little bit of awakening, but that's fine. So we can get lucky with a green glyph. Give us a green one. Nope. Yep. Cool. Let's get into this last room. Kick some butt. Scan points. I'm a little bit dubious about that little gap there. Okay, so do we take the team around that side? Seems a little bit long winded. Going this way is a little bit confined, but that can actually work in our favour as we got the bubble. With him just back there a little bit. We've got plenty of um, CPs, so we're going to get a troop unit in as well to help. Right. So we get all the way up to here. I'm just going to pop our fractal field generator up. Just sit there. Let him be a little beacon. Beacon of solitude for the rest. How did that go through my bubble? It's interesting. Aha, <laughs> damage absorbed. damage absorbed. It's gone down again. That should last for a whole round. Not like a couple of attacks. That's really quite out of order. I thought I killed him then. Looked like it knocked him back for six though. He's gone further away. But he's still in range. Fargo. He's going to have to take a hit, really, isn't he? And, oh, I guess he is in melee. Crap, yeah, I didn't see the diagonal. Ah, bum. I want to try and get a shot off there. Uh, Boo-boo. Blocking the path for the others to come up as well now. Oh, bums. Oh, a vanguard's gone. attack gun. Alright. Reduce the points. 
Yes, it's going to hit at least one of the others. Oh, it's not going to get that one. It looked like he was in the arc. Oh, well, it's good. It's knocked one out. He's gone. Get a little heal on. That servo skull and another CP before I forget. Bad round, not bad. Um, we've got a few CP. Let's get one. Maybe we've only got one, but let's get that one. Um, the trouble seeing which one it was. She's gone. Let's have one out the way. Can't move where he's, otherwise he's going to take a hit. Let's just keep him there. Court cool. served is doing its job, in a nice bit of fodder. Could have moved him. And taking the touch shot from the um, from the death mark, but I just wanted to get back to a bit of melee in on, on the flayed one. Do we know the health of the death mark? No, we don't. Um, I got no reducer, so I'm a little bit. I don't know, shall we? Yeah, let's just see if we can blast him into oblivion. There we go. Is that pain in the butt gone? Okay. Not quite worth healing him yet, I don't think. Machine Spirit reduces the um, cost of that. That's pretty awesome. Use one CP to do that. Use one to get in here. Gonna get one back. We're gonna get Blackstone from the terminal. And then we can give it to these two guys a bit as well, because this is gonna be free. Nice. And I've still got my axe to get a little chop chop. Oh, I've got my canticles. I can use my canticles. Keep forgetting about them. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to use them. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, stabby stick. Get rid of that. Just any keep it. Right. What's this guy on? He's got a physical shield. Got two CP. I want to try and push this where we really need to get towards this other terminal. Thought that was going to do for business for us, sir. Uh...
Let's see if I'm with you. That's energy, that's physical. Cool. Oh, we can steal a CP. Get rid of that one. And let's whittle that one down just a little bit. A bit conscious that we might get another. Another one comes sail over through there. No, let's not use that to heal. Let's use a canticle. Then we can use our last CP. Let's get into melee range of this guy and give him a quick little chop. So hopefully you might die on the next round because of the opportunity attack. So now we are just left with three against two, which isn't too bad. Much more manageable. Okay, that brings the numbers down a bit. That's what we like. There we go. Now we're cooking the gas. Use the freebie. Might run free awaken in here, so I think I'm gonna be cheeky and try to chop this up a bit. I'm just gonna move him in behind this guy for a bit. There's some healing on. So we're scars, let's get some more CP. Oh, I could have shot that for just one. Oh, we know we're dealing with this guy now. So we're getting CP here. I'm going to use the stabby stick to blow that up. It only does one damage. I think I'm going to lock this guy up with combat. Let's get cancelled in as well. Do a bit of extra damage. That's a nice big chunk off of him. Tempted to use that, but I don't know. Kinda feels like a bit of a waste of our last CP. Don't really want to waste a machine spirit on this one, but they're reanimating a lot quicker now, so we need to get him gone. Now I can push this guy forward a bit. Yep, I think that's out for a minute. Trump push forward to the scanner. 
Let's see what it's gonna do. Is it gonna kill or kill all enemies? Mission down, kill all enemies. Oh, this thing gives more to kill. Only an extra five. Haha. <laughs> Right. That right, seems like a bit of a waste, but we're going to be here for another couple of rounds killing all this lot. We really don't want this to go into four. There you go, it's going to help us just to stay, stay in the free. a few down here. Let's get some healing on. I'm sure he's about to get attacked by these two. Probably shot by this one as well. Mm, yeah, sod it. Let's get the bubble up. It only lasts two attacks, doesn't it? It says it lasts for one round. Not, not happy with that. Right, we got a reducer. And we got a servo skull, so let's get good attacking on this guy. Shrugged it off. You're gonna die. Oh, there's not. Hold on. You're gonna die. Cool. Let's not waste that last point by moving him. Rushing him, aren't they? Um, don't have a reducer. Let's zap that one out of the way. Servo skull. Chop, chop. As healed as I can now, so we're near the end. One has minimal blackstone loss at the end as we can manage. a good whack. He's out of it. Shove him away a bit. Give my guy a little bit of breathing room at least.
Yeah, there's no way we can get any points back now. Just leave him there. Another one bites the dust. CP uh, heal definitely why am I just picking on this guy what's their beef there's two other priests you can attack. What's, what's going on? God, I didn't kill him. What the fuff fuffs? I should have shot him before I moved in, shouldn't I? I didn't think I was going to need to. Oh, bum farts. Free. That's good. He's gonna die. He's definitely gonna die. All right, I've got to reduce that. Let's get a quick heal on. I can use reduce uh, and give him a chop on. No more platforms or magic doors? No. Oh, good. The chamber where the burner is placed is festooned with scraps of gory human skin, and the walls are inscribed with necron sigils that exude a sense of unholiness. Sanctify. Bless the chamber with prayer to counteract its unholy aura. Sanitize. Attempt to clean away the worst of the unholy gore. Or scorn. Reject this cursed place and find another place for the incense burner. Sanitize. Sanatorium. Right, the cohort tries to remove the drapings of skin and clean away the blood. The work is demoralizing and the oppressive nature of the chamber takes its toll on them. However, they are able to recover some augmetics and weapons from the sorry remains of the bodies butchered there. Here. Awakening Crease doesn't matter. Oh, it does actually. Oh, I'm ours. We've got an upgraded Croatia Claw. Heals 5 to 7. That's pretty cool. Mission complete. Sacred Incense Burners begin sending clouds of sacred, toxin neutralizing smoke throughout the tomb. Though the tomb of Ubjiao is still an extremely unpleasant and dangerous environment, the most severe effects of the fouled atmosphere are counteracted and the Skitari are able to operate there with greater effectiveness. That's good to hear. Let's see. 
Hey, we only lost points on one tech priest there. That's not too bad going. I did end up with a four. Kinda sucks, but what can you do? Almost caught way through now. Not too bad. Shroud spam. The next attack will break four energy armor. Just one today. Well, there we go, guys. That's the end of that one. Um, bit of a long one again, I'm afraid. I thought we were doing all right for time after that second encounter, but that third and final one took a little longer than expected. Uh, especially those added, added five flayed ones at the end. But I hope you've liked it anyway. Hope you've enjoyed. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Chuck us a comment. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. See you all another time. Bye-bye.